Welcome to the bar, faggots! I'm on vacation, so I'm not at the lair. But just because I'm on vacation doesn't mean we can't do some mini episodes to keep you entertained. And with that being said, this is Sad Pop here. And I'm sad. Who am I kidding? This is hilarious! <laughs> Apparently, there's this new thing going around out there. <laughs> Women are marrying themselves! <laughs> Winning. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. Actually, we talked about this once before. Check out the video, MGTOW. In fact, one woman out there, I think she married her cat. <laughs> As if one sad pussy in that household would be enough. <laughs> Yeah. All right, ladies, how entitled and narcissistic do you have to be? Oh my God. Oh, I get it. <laughs> you're sticking it to the patriarchy because your career comes first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert, ladies. Your career is not going to tuck you in when you're 70. It's not going to feed you that medication when your mind starts to go either. And your cat? Oh, he's your cuddly companion, right? Until you're dead and he eats your face, closed coffin. <laughs> I think we all know what these women need here. It's simple and it's basic medicine. You need some deep dicking, just saying. So ladies, follow these simple steps and you can save yourself some time and trouble now. Your hair, make it a natural color because when it's green, purple, or blue, it's a red flag for get the fuck away from you. And your armpits, you stink like an anchovies cunt, and when men see it, it turns them off, so shave that shit. You can have the best set of dial and pegs. Hell, they can be 15 mile an hour bumpers up top. But when you high five me and your armpit looks like Chewbacca's ass, anti hydraulic, I'm just saying. And the same thing goes for your legs and your snatch squatch. Because nobody wants to lay on top of a, I don't know, a cactus. And you shouldn't be able to serenade me by rubbing your legs together like a cricket. You don't want to stop doing that? <laughs> Space Ghost. You know shit has gone off the reservation when they give it an official name. Sologamy kind of sounds like something that would go on a sandwich with some mustard, and some pickles, and some zippy zest sauce. I'm getting hungry. If you want to lose your appetite, gentlemen, go ahead and go to imarriedme.com and vomit. This is basically the crazy cat lady starter kit, but with a different name. And of course, these women are putting a crazy feminist spin on this. They're not saying no to men. They're saying yes to themselves. Yeah, with some cat litter. Listen, ladies, you keep pulling stunts like this. You're just feeding the red pill to the dudes even faster. And more dudes out there, they're going to start saying yes to MGTOW because it makes sense. And these same men are going to say no to you when you find out that this shit doesn't work. And that's going to happen somewhere between 35 and 40. You're going to hit that wall at sublight speed and your toenails are going to shoot out your eyeballs. <laughs> and when that happens, miraculously, all that hair is going to go back to its normal color and come off. And you're going to hit the dating scene with a vengeance. And why? Because you're terrified of dying alone. And I know you self-righteous women out there are going to go, Well, men are afraid of that too. Hmm? I got news for you feminists and you ladies out there who think that. That's not true. Men have accepted the fact that they're completely expendable. We die on the battlefield. We die at work. Hell, men kill us on the street. And we all die alone. And we've accepted that a long time ago. Because guess what? Death is inevitable and it's not dignified. And it doesn't matter how many people are there to hold your hand. You're still taking the dirt dart. <laughs> so you could put on your wedding dress and parade around and invite your friends and put a ring on yourself. <laughs> because there ain't no dude going to do that. You like it, so you put a ring on it. That doesn't mean we like it. And we sure as shit don't respect it. Because let's face it, everyone who sees this... This is some delusional shit right here. And if a man was to do this kind of ridiculousness, they would laugh him off the stage and no one would take him serious again. Remember that because you live in the Western world where only 20% of the women identify as feminists. So with that being said, 80% of the so-called women at your self-marriage think you're a fucking idiot. And they're gonna do what women do. <laughs> 
they're going to talk shit about you when they go to the bathroom in groups. And that's what women do. And don't you dare fucking say you don't. Because you all do it. What, what's that? No, we don't. What? We don't. <laughs> Liar. Fib. Deceit. You might think that you stuck it to the patriarchy. And the joke is on us. Now, 38 to 80 is a long time. And the joke is on you. And while you're laying on your deathbed, please check out the links below and send us some uh, money from your inheritance because your cat ain't going to spend it. Pop, don't let it go. What? X go give it to you. He go give it to you. X go give it to you. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell below because I've been hearing about some funny business of some of my fans getting unsubscribed. And that is some sadistic bullshit. So please resubscribe. Because I have no plans of going away. And the more you subscribe, the more I can stick it to YouTube. <laughs> so YouTube, do me a personal favor. Why don't you marry yourself and die alone with your cats? <laughs>